Okay, I'd like to follow up Wednesday's lecture on synesthesia and its probable causes. I want to expand on some of the ideas that were discussed, and also touch on your reading from last week, so we can explore some of the practical applications of neurobiological study. Okay, sound good? Right. Before we start, are there any questions? Yes.、Uh... In the lecture, Dr. Ellis said that synesthesia was a pleasant condition, but I'm not sure why people think that. Surely it must be very confusing and quite annoying sometimes. Well, I think in some cases it might be, but from most of the case studies and extensive evidence from interviews and questionnaires, it seems that the majority of synesthetes actually find their condition a positive thing. And also, I didn't understand. If people can have more than one type of synesthesia at a time, I mean, can more than two senses be mixed up? Not usually, no. But there are many different kinds of two sense synesthesia. Can you tell us what the most common types are? Well, the most common variant is what is called grapheme colour synesthesia. This is where people see letters or numbers in particular colours. Because we already know quite a lot about the visual system and its neurological effects, grapheme colour is certainly the most studied form of synesthesia. Does anyone know why that's more common than other types? Is there a reason? Good question. It could be that the grapheme colour is just the most reported form, but there are some studies which suggest that it's because of other factors.